Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Real Farm. So we just got started in our last video with some of the basics and we plowed a field for one of the local farmers. And now I found the first instance of something that I'm not particularly happy about. If you remember from the very end of our other video, we had accepted job number two. We accepted another job to cultivate that same uh, piece of land, the same field that we had just gotten through plowing. Well, everything was fine. I walked over here to uh, get into the tractor, so no problem there. And then I remember there's something I wanted to look at, so I exited the tractor, walked away, and, and it gave me a 10 seconds to get back in the tractor. It was weird. And it said that, um, you know, you have 10 seconds to complete the job. You're leaving the work area. You know, come back if you want to complete the job. So I thought, okay, no problem. I'm just, I'm going to come back later. No problem. And then after the 10 seconds elapsed, <laughs> Mr. Davis here pops up on the screen and says, you disappoint me. Uh, I thought that you would treat these fields as your own. So I'm very disappointed and all that kind of stuff. So and then he tells me, you know, please consider doing this again. I'm like, well, I never wanted to get rid of the job to begin with. So we're going to try this again. Let us accept this. And let's see. Let's try not to get ran over. Something tells me we probably can't get ran over anyway, but I just soon not take the chance. All right. So let's. here we are. We're headed toward the tractor again, and I am going to make sure that this time... We do not have any doubts as to whether or not we can leave a job and come back to it. We cannot. Once you take a job, you must complete it right then within that time frame. No questions asked. All right, let's try to get this tractor. Wow. Okay, can we just, yeah, we need to handle a little bit better. Here. Okay, so let's hitch this to the front. There it goes. So now our tractor has the weight on it. Our tractor is making a lovely sound like we are just flooring the gas pedal. Now we have our cultivator and we are headed back over to the field. Things going a little bit better this time. Hopefully we didn't damage our relationship with the farmer too badly. And if we did, we're going to do everything we can to repair that. All right, so now we're headed back over to our same field. So I'm going to hit the same location. And wait a minute now. If you'll notice, it looks like a fully plowed field. How about that? So does that mean that that's the case just for the purposes of our, our tutorial section here? Or is that going to be the case like all the way through, every time we plow a field, once we reach 100% on that icon, which is at our the top left in the center of the five icons, um, is that what's going to be the case? It's going to be interesting. All right, let's go ahead, left control, and let's fold the tool, unfold the tool rather. All right, and it is still up in the air. Okay, now can we, there we go. That wasn't here a second ago, at least I don't think it was. Now let's go ahead and activate it. And so now actually I would enjoy it if we just had to plow it to 100% and then we could come back and everything would be good. That would, I would actually get a, a big kick out of that because that would mean we wouldn't have to be so worried about plowing or cultivating outside of the limits of the field. Now it does raise some other questions but I will take it. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing this time that we did last time. Is we are going to, there we go, deactivate the tool. And we are gonna to try to complete this field as quickly as we can. Okay, yeah, that's one of the things I wanted to look at on you see at the very end, so it's cultivating this tool. All right, why are we not backing up? Okay, so never mind. I was going to try to do this field uh, more of a, a proper way of doing it, but that is not going to be the case. 
because there's no way I'm going to let this thing back up that slowly every time we do this. Alright, let's go ahead and activate this thing and get started. So next time we come back, right after we get done cultivating this field, if we come back the next time, is it going to be perfect? Ignoring the fact that we've gone outside of the field limits? That I would love that, quite frankly. Even though that would seem to negate any ability on our part. All right, let's go ahead and swing around here. Uh, negate any ability on our part to make the fields bigger or connect fields or anything like that. But it would keep things simple. And if you're like me and would prefer your fields to look a lot better than what I can reasonably make them and keep them within their boundaries and all that kind of thing, then that would be a very very good thing if the field would do that all right so you can see once again our progress bar is moving right along and I would imagine the same thing is going to happen here as happened when we were plowing the field and that is that our hundred percent is going to be reached well before we actually get to plow or in this case cultivate the entire field. Oh my goodness, the turning radius. I have got to get used to that because that is terrible. All right, so one of the things I would love to do right now is I would love to show you the first person view inside the cab. Unfortunately, I can't figure out how to do that. We took a look and in the first video at our options, for controls and all it shows is an Xbox controller and right now I would just love to give you a first person view because I'm dying to see what it looks like myself however I have no idea which key does that so guess what we're gonna do we're gonna start pressing keys and see what happens alright so I am pressing keys nothing is happening so far take a second here and go ahead and get this thing turned so I don't miss my turn Woo, get the controls there I'm just doing a little dance here with our farm equipment nope still pushing all the buttons and of course we know W, A, S, and D, they control the tractor, or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard, either way works. So that's a good thing, because right now I am holding down the W key, and then of course using the D key to turn right. But I am going to continue trying to find the key, is it V? Oh, it is V, and it's a beautiful thing. All right, let's look around, I'm dying to look around. Is it just me, or does everything have a green tint? Maybe that's our... I'm sure that is our tinted glass, our tinted windows. We have pimped out our tractor. All right, so we'll take that. All right, so let's look around a little bit more. Okay. Wow, lots of bright colors there. Some blue and pinks and purples and all sorts of stuff. All right, so V, if you're playing at home on a keyboard and mouse, on your PC, then V is the thing for view. Now that makes a lot of sense. I just wish the game would tell me that, number one, and then number two, allow me to change any of these and remap them as I see fit. All right, excellent. Are there any other views, just inside and outside? All right, I'll take it. Not bad. All right, so we'll come back to that more and more as we drive around. For now, we are almost done with this particular job so we're going to try to finish this thing up and then I'm going to have to remember we're going to sort of drive off a little bit and then come back and see if this thing is reset to look like it should look nice and neat rather than how it looks when we're doing it which is anything but neat I mean let's face it if somebody cut your grass and they did as terrible a job as this you would fire them and never allow them to come back and that's just cutting your grass all right, here we go. Almost done. Any second now. 
our farmer friend. Maybe you'll be happier with us this time. There we go. Great job. You get the hang of it. Got another job for you. But first, return my equipment. That's right. Very authoritarian. Good job. All right. That is unactivate. Deactivate that tool. Fold it up. And then let's get... Where are we going? We're going over there. Woo-wee. All right. We're having fun now. Driving the tractor with that green tent. All right. Here we go. Speed across. Time for us to get paid. Job number two is complete. Thanks for bringing my machines back in one piece. You are very welcome. Got another job available on the job board. All right, so we know what we're doing now. Another $2,500. And, okay, it didn't look like it hurt our relationship with him any, you know, because we had about half this the first time, so it looks like we're good there. We got some more reward. Everything is good. Quick save, and we're off. So back to the job board we go. And now, see if you look at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen with... Ooh, almost got run over there. In fact, let's find out. Can you get run over? Ooh, nope, can't. I thought that was going to be close. But no, we just bounced off. So now let's take a quick look. Before we accept that job, let's go to tab and take a quick look at the map. So we got a nice river running down through here. You can see all of the fields are numbered. All the way up through there's 19, but then above 19, we've got what looks like a some sort of a pond area there. But the area up here, I'm not sure if that's because I simply haven't driven up there. You know, so this is sort of like a, a fog of war type thing, or or what's going on with that? Maybe it's to be released later on in DLC. I'm not sure. So we'll come back to that. So it looks like 19 is the highest number we see on any of the fields 18 yeah that's the highest i see so it looks like we've got and then we've got the same thing down here although it looks like we got some at least some hills or mountains that way so i'm not sure if we can go any farther that direction oh no we'll have to find out in fact let's go ahead and do that now because i just so happen to know where there is a truck. So if I tab, where are we? We're right here and we are headed. So we wanna go, we wanna go in the direction we're headed. I can barely hear the engine. So we are definitely, our sounds are, are not too high. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna cut some curves here. How fast are we going? We're going 70? I don't know if that's miles per hour or what. Ooh, okay, we stopped very quickly. All right, let's head over this way. All right, that would be our pond that we saw. Okay, so... Looks like somebody's camping over there. I see a tent. All right, we're definitely not going anywhere this way. All right, let's pull our map back up. Yes, yeah, so it looks like we are actually getting to the end of the map. That's hard to believe. All right, let's see if we can just sort of get across. I mean, what kind of explorers would we be if we didn't do just this exact thing? All right, we can see there's definitely nowhere we're going over there. That's not intended for us to visit. Can we go through the tunnel? I'm going to guess there's a no. Nope. Oh, we have hit an invisible wall. All right, so that is indeed, at least for now. Oh, look at the road. The texture's on the road. we got to work on this. And I see some popping in and out. Yeah, that's, that's we've got some issues to work through, but that's okay. It's okay. Game is just released. We've got some time. But yeah, we definitely need to work on this. These textures are, that's just not good at all. Now we are going to head right back over to where we came from. All 
All right, so that is, let's see, where are we on the map here? All right, let's keep going a little bit farther because just ahead on the right, right here, I'm gonna hit V again so we can get back outside. Okay, no, it didn't reset anything. You can see it's, it's just like we left it. Does it leave any sort of tracks or anything as I drive across it? No, it does not. It doesn't appear to do anything at all to it. All right, so as of now, it is just like we left it, even though the job is finished. It does, however, say that it's 100% done if I back up and bring our icons back. Yeah, everything looks, looks good. Everything's in the green anyway. All right, let's go ahead and move. We're gonna move our truck out of the way somewhere. Where can we put this thing and get it out of the way? Ooh, this thing is quick. All right, over here looks nice. Press Q, hold it down to get out. Somehow we ended up on the passenger side over there. All right, that's good enough there. Let's head back over to the job board and it's time for another job. Now that we know we don't, we're not gonna get run over, we don't even have to worry about crossing the street. Learn how to sow a field? Absolutely, let's do it. Looks like our reward is gonna be the same each time. Nice sewing implement there. And let's see, we're getting into a Caldera N120. Now the, we don't have any real life brands of tractors or implements in the game, which isn't really all that big a deal to me uh, because I don't have any allegiances to any of them anyway. Uh, we will have the, the choice whenever we start to purchase our own equipment to do things at certain things to customize them such as painting them or whatever color we prefer so if you all right is this thing hooked on that yeah it was still flopping around a little bit i was i got a little worried all right let's back up where is our implement there it is there we go so it looks like we are i believe that's wheat i can never remember all of the seeds just from the pictures, but I believe that's wheat that we're going to be planting over here. All right, so now the question is, did it reset? Now that we have taken this new, no, doesn't look like it. As far as I, well, maybe it did. Can't tell. Sometimes I look at it and I think, yeah, it definitely reset. Other times, maybe not so much. You can definitely tell that we extended the boundaries here. So, all right, let's go ahead and get our implement taken care of. It says, sow the field within the time limit, which is a little over 25 minutes. We should have no trouble there. Open the vehicle controls first, unfold, and then activate the sower. So there's our unfold. And yeah, why are we not going any straighter than this? This is terrible. And then we're going to activate. Oh, this is terrible. I thought we were going much straighter than this. All right, so let's go ahead and put some seed down. Watch that progress bar get going. So the idea, I believe, is that the better our reputation with a particular farmer, the better the prices that we're going to get from them whenever we purchase land from them. I'm not sure if we can purchase anything else such as, I'm not sure if this farmer would allow us to purchase the equipment we're using right now, but it's supposed to be better prices whenever you purchase from that farmer. So that gives you incentive to try to do a good job and increase your relationship with that particular farmer. Or you could just say, I don't care about the prices. I will pay whatever I need to pay. Just want the field. And it looks like we are sowing even off the area that we previously plowed or cultivated. Interesting turn of events. Again, I just wish that was, I wish we could turn that off. Really wish that was a, some type of a, a switch within the game. 
that you could control whether or not you extend the boundaries of the field. But as of now, we'll just take it as we get it. And oh yeah, that progress bar is going up very quickly. Yeah, this is decidedly easier to do, it would seem, than our first two tasks, which once again, makes sense because we're not digging into the earth this time. We're simply grazing more or less across the top of it. So it did reset. You can see that the field is reset because all of that, that nasty work that we did in this around the center, which we didn't even get to, is now perfectly cultivated and ready for us. Hopefully later on, as we progress through the game, they have implements that will allow you to cultivate and sow at the same time. That would be very nice to have. I'm not sure, you know, aside from the ability to uh, customize your vehicles, since we don't have the ability to purchase brand names within the game, I'm not sure what type of selection they actually have. We're going to find that out together as we progress through the game. How many different cultivators do you have? Do we have different sizes and so on. But for now, we are just flying through this. It would help if I wouldn't go over the same area so much. But hey, if that's the biggest problem we got, we're doing just fine. So a few other things I've noticed, I mentioned the shadows briefly in the first video, talking about how I didn't really see any shadows. I still don't while we're in the tractor. Uh, there might be a few that I'm missing, but overall I'm not seeing a whole lot there. Uh, they may have done that to help with the frames per second, maybe. But once again, I wish there was an option to increase it and actually show more shadows, simply because it helps with the immersion. It Everything seems a lot more realistic when there are shadows being drawn. But some other things I'm noticing, I mean, the textures overall uh, are not that bad. You know, they're not 4K. My monitor's not 4K, so the game resolution is not 4K. But the resolution isn't all that bad. The graphics overall are not that bad uh, to me. They're not anything to write home about. I mean, I'm not going to rave about them and and notice that they're hugely different from what i'm used to uh, the trees i'm a little disappointed in and i think part of that is the shadow because the trees look very out of place without uh, any shadow around them it really points out some glaring issues i think with with the textures but once again that's not part of the gameplay so uh, i can deal with that uh, we are getting very close to being done with this particular field only took us a few short minutes to do this one and once again you can see we're going to be nowhere near a hundred percent by the time that message pops up just any second all right there we go great job you're getting the hang of it got another job for you but first return my equipment all right so we're seeing the same message quite a few times let's first Get this tool folded up, get it off the ground so we don't damage it. Because remember, we don't, wait, what's happening right? Why is this thing sliding? Are we on a hill that I didn't recognize? All right, let's get back in to our green tinted tractor so we can see where we're going. All right, more money is coming our way as we have now completed three tasks. So pretty soon we're gonna have his relationship bar maxed out.
Excellent. Well, you know what they say. However, I think it's supposed to be whoever sows generously will also reap generously. So check the job board for your next assignment. So I guess that gives us a pretty good idea of what it's going to be. And so it looks like, what, maybe two more times, maybe three more times that we complete jobs with him. And this will be maxed out. So I'm not sure if that's the end of it or maybe if we just reach a level two or something with him. So very interesting. All right. I want to head back over. So I think we're going to end the video here for now. That'll take care of episode two in our Let's Play series as we have now plowed, cultivated, and sown our first field. So thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned next time for more Real Farm gameplay here at Neepit Gaming.